Hi everyone, this is one of the flies that I use to imitate the caddis pupa. I'm tying my green version here, but this fly can be tied in different sizes, different colours and with or without a bead. So I've already got a bead on the hook and the hook's in the vise. And I'm going to start with the thread just behind the bead, take a few wraps to secure the thread, snip away the uh, unwanted end now I'm going to carry on down the hook and around the bend. To stop the thread sliding on the hook I'm just going to tilt it in the vise and then carry on round that bend. And I'll stop there so that I can attach the rib. So I'll bring the ribbon material under the thread and then position it on top of the hook shank take some tension on the thread and pull that through so we've got a li as little waste as possible and I'll take a few wraps to secure the rib tilt that again in the hook and that's it and now we're ready for building the abdomen I'm using super fine dubbing for the abdomen and I'm going to twist it onto the tying thread quite tightly so we make a relatively thin dubbing rope so that way I can hopefully have better control as I build a, a tapered abdomen and work my way back up towards the eye of the hook and the bead. So we start thin at the rear of the hook and then I'm just going to build that taper as I work up the hook. And I'll just keep adding dubbing as I go and build that body. I tilted the hook down in the vise as I worked down with the thread to stop it slipping and now as I work my way back up the hook with the uh, dubbing for the abdomen I'm going to start to straighten it up in the vise and to gauge the length of the abdomen I'm going to split the distance from where I started the abdomen to the eye into thirds and the abdomen will be about two thirds of that distance long, leaving a third of that for the uh, thorax. That's it, that's the uh, tapered abdomen done. So now we're going to take the rib and wind up the abdomen in open turns, trying to keep the distance the same between each turn. We'll just work our way up to the end of the abdomen and then fasten that rib in and cut away the waist. That's it, we'll snip that away. And now we're ready to build the thorax or to start building it. I'm using a coarser material for the thorax and I'm going to be quite generous with it because once I've built this little area here I'm going to use the uh, velcro brush to tease the fibres out so that there's some fibres trail back over the abdomen which will give us the impression of a little bit of bulk in this area which you often see on the natural as the wings or the wing buds form uh, on the emerging pupa. So I'll just build that up a bit more. That's it. 
that's it we've got a bit of bulk there and now I'll take the brush and just brush away at that and stroke those fibers or pick those fibers out and just stroke them back towards the rear of the hook over the abdomen just want a few more so I'm going to add a little bit more dubbing that's it I'm going to take the brush again and just again pick those fibers out and stroke them back towards the rear of the hook that's looking okay and now I'm going to add a CDC feather to add a touch more bulk to the thorax area and the CDC fibers trailing back over the abdomen may also imitate the legs and antenna of an emergent or drowned pupa. I'm just preparing the feather now and just to give you a better idea of how I prepare it I've just added this bit. So what I do is I take a CDC feather and the first thing I'll do is strip away the fibres at the base of the stem. So I'll just strip them away on each side. And then I'll hold it by the tip and stroke those fibres back. And now I can either tie it in at that point or what I often like to do is just snip the tip off and leave that little stub so that I can tie it in. So now I'm going to hold the feather against the hook with the inside of the feather against the hook and then take a few turns of tying thread around that stub to secure the feather. And I'll take the hackle pliers stroke the fibres back and wind in and as I wind I'll keep stroking those fibres back out of the way and then once that's wound in I'll take a few wraps of tying thread to secure the feather and once that's secure I can snip away the waist And now I'm going to take some of the thorax dubbing and dub that area between the uh, CDC feather and the rear of the uh, bead. Again I'm going to be quite generous with the dubbing because I'm going to pick it out with a velcro brush. So I'll just hold the CDC fibres back and fill that area in. And now I'll take the velcro brush and just brush that back and tease out a few fibres and stroke them back over the thorax. That's okay. And now we can do a whip finish and finish the fly off. And just control that loop as I pull it in with the scissors snip that off and now I'll take a little bit of varnish and just seal that thread behind the uh, bead So that's my caddis pupa. Um, it's worked very well for me on occasions, fished in various ways and it's definitely earned its place in my box. So if you decide to try it, I hope it works for you.